Ball on EA Sports. It's the Dallas Cowboys. Taking on the New York Giants. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State in the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys. The wait is finally over. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis here on the start of a new NFL season, and we kick it off with a bang on Thursday night. What's interesting about these Thursday night games is oftentimes... Jones. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. First down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now Jones. He's going to find Gallup here complete. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Brings up second and four at the 40. Throwing Jones, and it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. And the screen only good for three that time, and it'll bring up a fourth down. How about this for an opening drive decision? You got fourth and short just outside of field goal range in all likelihood. What do you do? I'm going for it. I've got to go get it right now. I want to establish a tone. It's early in the game. I want to let my offense know that I believe in them. And you know something else? I let my defense know I believe in them also by taking that gamble. If we don't get it, it's okay. You guys will cover for me. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make it a second down. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Good for a Cowboys. He'll look to throw. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. And he did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. A gain of three, second down. He was tackled at the 46-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. 
That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. A first carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. The last run got six, now second and four. Operating from the gun, Jones. Got his man there, complete to Gallup. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 15 yards on the play, first down. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. Jones on first down to Shepard complete over the middle. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right. Oh, trying to fit it into Shepard, but it's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And the return will stop him well inside their own 20 at the 15-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Able to hit his target, Lamb. Complete. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Pickup brings up second and two. At the 24 yards. Here's Elliott. And he's able to get up here to the 26. In two yards, good enough for a first. Well, we always talk about good down and distance allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. That's good for a Cowboys. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they're in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. A first down carry by Elliott. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight. At the 39-yard line. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 43. First and 10. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 43. Toss left to Allian. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That really sets him back. A loss of six. I like the strategy. 
extra tight ends, extra beef, they want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Second and 16. They'll run with Elliott. And this Giants defense getting off the ball quickly. They stop him behind the line again. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Got an open man, the tight end, Jarwin. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Boy, not what you want to see in quarter one of the new year. We'll be back. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25 to Will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot him. New York ready to go again offensively. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone, costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah. Will they make up for it? One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. He's brought down at the 31. It's a gain of a yard, and it's... They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, oh, he's a nice luxury to have, isn't he? So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and 10 here. Now they'll run on the draw. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a six yard pickup and it gets him to second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Saquon Barkley. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. It's a gain of a yard. And it's from the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That's good. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Elliott. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. It's a gain of nine. 
Brings up second and a yard. This is Elliott. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. No gain on the play. Makes it third and two. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And getting this just shy of midfield, a spot at the 49. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now Elliott. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. No score after one on EA Sports. No score. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing up fourth down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And how about this, a fake? Oh, but this is going to backfire as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. At their own 19-yard line. The Giants going to take over again on offense. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. But you said it earlier in the quarter when we saw a broken tackle then that we might see some missed tackles here early on in week one, and that's another one right there. Yeah, not a surprise at all. It will even out as the season extends because everyone will get used to the play speed. But right now, here in the early season, the advantage definitely goes to the offense. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Saquon Barkley. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second. This is Barkley. At the 38-yard line. And this will be a Giants first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Three yards the game there, second down. To Sterling Shepard. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven at the 47-yard line. Now it's Barkley. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. Uh, still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Brandon, off the 
things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And the Giants send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. They decide against going for it on fourth and one, maybe to the dismay of their offense, but, hey, a nice consolation prize down inside the five. Nice consolation prize indeed. So maybe the offense is upset, but they showed confidence in their defense by punting it away. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive, and they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one-receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pin back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. So a little breathing room now. First and 10 at the 17. The give is to Elliott. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Ezekiel Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. One yard gain. Brings up Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Throw left side complete. It's Elliott. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. To the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Another carry tonight for the workhorse, Elliott. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. He's brought down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. It's on the pickup. It's second and eight. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards there and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first down, Elliott. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Back to the ground, this time Langford. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Makes it third. Drop the throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. 
And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. It's now second and six. They'll set up a throw. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 13. And he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And New York set to take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. A gain of two. Brings on the run, it's Barkley. And he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The Giants on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. Third down. From the gun, Jones. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. And the Giants send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And take it right on the 30. The 41-yard punt, nine on the return, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Dallas offense back out onto the field, and the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play guy a question. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. They'll set up to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. The a gain of four on the play. And that's going to lead to a third down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. 
So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10, down at the 33. Draw play, Elliott. Working his way for a gain of seven to the 26. Elliott, the ball carrier. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, gotta like the way they're moving the football part now. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Here's Elliott. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. We remind you that coming up at the half, we'll hand things off to Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have scores from earlier today, plus a look ahead as well, so you won't want to miss that. A lot going on here in week one. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown as his guys are on the board first here tonight. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, wherever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. So this drive spans seven plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. He's doing his thing. He's got some good yardage, but his team right now in the second quarter, zero points. Just not a complete formula. Half of it's there, being able to run the ball and set the tone. What if they may have to go to some play action, throw off the run game, and try and get the ball in the end zone? I was just going to ask you that same thing. Maybe you use that run now to set up the pass, right? I would think so because the run has been very effective for them. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. That's complete to Slayton. And oh, he coughed it up. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it, and not realizing that danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. This challenge was initiated by the guys in New York taking a look at the play. Less than two minutes to go. Yeah, I'm sure the coach wanted to challenge it, so he's probably going to send the New York office a holiday card. Jones now. Following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. They call it no gain there on the first down play. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Catch made by Slayton. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Jones on first and ten. Out to the right here to Shepard. 
Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. On the pickup, it's second and inches. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. From the gun, Jones. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Jones has and he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of four yards. It's and the Giants send out their punter now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. Well, the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, good to get another season underway. We'll get back to you guys for the second half of the season opener. But first, let's take a look at what's still to come here in the opening weekend of the NFL season. Some great games still to come. And I think we highlighted one of the better ones right there as they get set to host the Philadelphia Eagles. Good games in the late afternoon as well. One being out in Santa Clara, where it'll be the 49ers taking on the Seattle Seahawks. And then finally, we wrap up the week with a good one on Monday night football between the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, in our game, just the lone touchdown accounting for all the scoring, a tight one, 7 nothing is the score. And for the call of the second half, we send it back to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. But we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. He'll come up now second and four from the 31. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Back to throw. Over the middle, Cooper with it. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Oh, boy. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive linemen said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. On first down, Elliott. And he's got this down to the 35. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Langford. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. 
No gain on the play. Second and ten. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 18. 18 yards there, down 2-18, to 18 and a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. Not much there, only a yard. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Second and nine at the 17 yard. Here's Langford. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. They'll look to throw here. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Now Elliott, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call that a loss of five yards on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. A gain of eight yards. It's now third and goal. That's caught at the three. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check-down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. A field goal would make it a two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. Running with Elliott, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. He talked about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. 
That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. First and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. 35-yard line. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. From the 35 on second down, Jones. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Again, one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A first down carry for Barkley won't lead to much as he'll take this forward for maybe a yard. It's second down. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Brings up second and nine. Again, it's Barkley. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Operating from the gun, Jones, and almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 26. -yard. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much, where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. They go to Elliott again. Ezekiel Elliott. Dante well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Ball carrier. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Elliott. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Brings up third. And they'll try and run for it with Elliott. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. And 
And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went in at halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half, it gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. Three yards the game there, second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On the draw, this is Barkley. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Three-yard line. A gain of a yard. Brings on the gun. Jones gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. It's a gain of three, and it gets him the first. There are a lot of different formulas to winning football, but one constant over the years, winning on third down. That pickup there was big because they had struggled throughout this one. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. From the gun, Jones going right side. He finds Slayton. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 41-yard line. And the Giants' first down. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now Jones throwing on first down. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he's taken down inside the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. A gain of 12. First down, New York. Operating from the gun, Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. For Sterling Shepard, incomplete. Jones going to throw again. And he fires one that's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. Shreds the tackle. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And right now, probably just one thing in his mind, it's getting back to the hot start because he's really faded. And ordinarily when that happens, the quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now there's probably a, a silent camaraderie that comes around him saying, hey, guess what? We got you. Don't worry about it. Let's go, big fella. Because they know more times than not, he tends to pick things up and they tend to play well. 
And he gets it down to the 32. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. Elliott. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it, the vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. This is Elliott. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Steps away to his left. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. The three-yard line. A gain of three. They'll look to run with Langford, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh, good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want. But there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount in this league. So you go into it, yeah, we want it, but now you actually have to go out and prove it. Yeah, two sides of that coin and looking like they're going to protect it here in this one. And it is now 21 to nothing. So that drives seven plays in length. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Giants nothing. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Jones now throwing again. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. And even longer, they're going in the wrong direction here because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going the wrong direction for the offensive guys. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. From the gun, Jones. He's gonna find his running back, it's complete. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means.
And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll run with Barkley, and he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. Saquon Barkley denied on fourth down. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down.